So good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Before we jump into today's video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that little bell and give this video a thumbs up. I would absolutely really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. I know we can do it, so just subscribe if you're not and enjoy the video. So right now this morning, I'm just finishing up pushing cows. I got two cows left here out of about uh, six. So I usually have about six in the morning, maybe four or five at night. So it's not too bad, I can deal with it really doesn't take that long uh, today we're gonna be hoof trimming so I gotta separate this entire herd out and get the cows that we need on the far side of the barn locked up for the hoof trimmer so we're gonna be doing that this morning as well so in order to get all these cows locked up in the head gates here I gotta feed them which I got the feed mixing right now. Before I let the feed run out, I gotta scrape away all this crap here that they didn't eat yesterday, toss it over, and then give them some fresh stuff. Clean it up here really nice. So now we gotta take these uh, head gates here and put them in the lock position. So now when a cow sticks her head in here to come eat, she'll get locked in there like that. Just come on the other side of the barn here, same thing. So here's our feed control panel and this is how feed gets to the other barn here so just gotta start turning them all on so this here is what it looks like coming out of the mixer so back in the barn here now pretty much everybody is locked in their head gates so I got my list here. It's a pretty big list today to be hoof trimming cows. But now I gotta get all these cows here separated. So I got three, uh, three uh, scrape alleys in this barn. So first things first, I'm gonna come down this middle aisle, take the cows that are here, there's three here standing. If they're on this list, I'm gonna put them to the left side of the barn. Then I'm gonna close everything up here, take the cows that I don't want from that side of the barn, put them in the middle. And then the cows that are on the left side of the barn, the ones that I need are going to go on the right hand side. So if that makes sense, hopefully it does. It's going to be a little bit of a timely process to do this, but I'll get it done before the hoof trimmer gets here. So all the cows I want to hoof trim are going to be locked on the right hand side here, while all the ones I don't need are going to come on the left here where the robots are. So they're still going to be able to get milk. And then as soon as they're done getting hoof trimmed, they're going to go, they're going to go right to the robots and get milk anyway. So I can lock them up for a few hours. It's not going to be the end of the world, but this has to get done. So I'm gonna start now by getting these cows out of the middle aisle. This is 545 here, if she's on the list. I got everything in numeratical order. So it should be a lot easier. She's on the list, but she's going on that side anyway, so that's perfect. And then I'm gonna lock up all this stuff here, all these crossovers. Same on that side. And close all this up. So all the cows in the middle here I did need, so I put them on that side of the barn. Then I'm gonna come back here, we're gonna close all this up. Make sure they don't go where I don't need them. So I'm gonna lock that up. I got a gate here I'm gonna put here, and then we're gonna separate all those cows on that side and figure, figure it out here. So the goal here now on this side is to just get rid of all the cows I don't need. So if they're not on this list, I'm gonna let them out of the head gates and throw them into the middle. So we got starters here, 471 or 491, sorry. So just look on the list here, she's not on here. So then we're gonna let her out. We'll let her out and then we're gonna lock all these ones up that are empty. Cause I don't want a cow that I just let out to come back in cause then obviously I gotta restart. So next cow is 515. If she's on here, she is right there. So she's gonna stay. And then we just go all the way down the barn and do this. So. 625, she's gonna stay, 534, 
she is gonna stay 629 she's a heifer she's probably on here yep uh what is that one five 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 eight she's on here too 620 she's on here 602 should be on here so now i got an empty slot here just gonna lock it up so no cow go in there she stays 470 she can go we're gonna take her out bye bye girl lock that up so i got all the cows that i don't need out of the head gates the reason i locked those empty head gates is so now when i chase the cows out of here to go into the middle alley they won't stick their heads into those empty gates because i locked them up so this will make things a lot easier to push them out of here and get them into the middle come on girls come on girls Come on, girls. Hey. Go. Make sure I don't miss any. Come on, girls. So we got all the ones we don't need in the middle. Lock them up. Now we'll go on the other side there. So we're gonna come on this side, there's a lot less cows, and just grab the ones we want and put them onto the right hand side. And then we can open everything back up. So same thing here, we're gonna lock all these up. That are empty. And then on this side, we're grabbing the ones we need. So 453, she's on the list. I'll let her out. So we got all the cows we need on this side, all the cows we don't need in the middle, but now I'm gonna lock the ones up on this side, on this side, and keep them on this side, and then let all these ones in the middle run around free. They can go to the robot, get milk, they can eat, drink water, lay down, they can do what they want. We're just about halfway done here. It's going pretty smooth. Everything gets full of manure when you're kind of doing this job, as you can tell. Can't run the scrapers with the shooting here. 
So we just gotta wait till we're done and then we're gonna turn those on after, but still, it's not hard to get full of manure. Just finish up the last cow here. So we got him all packed up and out of here. So we are gonna hoof trim more often now, I think, because doing about 50 cows of trimming at once just it just does not make sense for us. The least amount of the less amount of cows we do, the better probably, so they won't be so locked up all the time. And then uh, the cows can go to the robots more often because now, obviously, for today, milkings at the robot are probably gonna be down, which hurts production and the milking tank. So, I think the more we trim, the better. The last time he came was actually, I think, beginning of September, so it was about like a couple months ago. But now that he's gone, we gotta do some cleaning. I gotta clean some stalls, get these scrapers running again because these scrape manure alleys are just full of manure. Clean the stalls out, push the feed. Get this barn into tip top shape again. So, here's a pretty good example of how good this barn scraper is. As you can see there's a big wave of manure here so this is what it looks like when your manure scrapers have been broken or shut off for a period of time so this right here it's been off for about four hours i think now so this right here is about four hours of manure it's not a lot you know it's not a lot on the floor but when you come from one end of the barn all the way down to where it dumps into the slot here it becomes a big big pile of manure and you don't really want your cows walking through this this is where you get hoof problems. This is where you get hoof problems when your cows walk through this big sludge of manure like this. So this doesn't happen often. 
it happens, it happens very, very rarely because these manure scrapers are set to run every single hour in this barn, except for when you shut them off. But you can tell the difference here. So this is a, what it looks like scraped, nice and clean. So here's a scraper, and this is what it looks like before it's been scraped. This is what you want your barn to look like almost 24 seven. You want it to be clean and everything like this. I already cleaned the manure out of the stalls on this side so the scraper can take that little bit of straw to the back. So on our farm, we do not do any uh, foot bathing because we don't exactly have hoof problems. So the 50 cows we just finished trimming, we did not wrap any and we didn't have any ulcers or sores. All we did was a maintenance trim. It's all we needed to get done because here's the foot bath in this barn. And as you can tell, it has not been used literally since we have been in here. We have not used it yet and we don't really plan on using it because why use it when you don't have any problems? So right here, this is the slot for the manure from the scrape alley. So all the manure from there comes down the barn this way into here, into the slot, and then it goes down there into the pit. And then from the pit, it goes into the, the lagoon outside. This is a big, nice wave of manure. So that definitely looks a lot better now. This is kind of how I like it, nice and clean, nice and tidy. Nobody wants their cows walking heel deep into manure. Because then when they lay down, even when a cow lays down and say they're full of manure up to here, that all just ends up on the udder and then on the teat ends. And then when it gets on teat ends, you get mastitis and then you got a lot of other problems that you don't want. So manure management is pretty, pretty big thing. Keeping everything nice and tidy, nice and clean. And then also the stalls, keeping the stalls really nice and clean. That is another good little tip if you're having mastitis problems. Clean those stalls another six times a day instead of just two times a day. 